So 12 enters, 5 and I3 leaves. Question is, what is current I3? Is it 17? Is it 7? Is it 5? Is it 24? Again, let's just do a very fast review. Kirchhoff's junction rule of charge conservation says that total current entering a point is equal to total current leaving the same point. Charge is conserved. Current is the flow of charges, the rate at which charges flow across a cross-sectional area. Charges moving perpendicular to the surface. And that current is given by I is equal to delta Q over T. What is delta Q? Charge in coulombs. Delta T, time in seconds. What is I? Current in amperes. Direction of current is the direction in which positive charges are moving. In a metallic wire, charge carriers are electrons. Electrons move opposite to the current. All right, so here is 12 entering, 5 is leaving, I3 is leaving. So question is, what is I3? Current entering the point should be equal to current leaving the point, 5 plus I3. So subtract 5 from both sides, and what do we get? I3 is equal to 7. So it is 7 amperes. So the answer is 7 amperes. B. Thank you.